Dave, can you go to the camera? Do, oh, the mics are working. That's lovely. Okay, so the motion you, is... I'm sorry, Sarah. Just one second. We're just making sure I can hear Dave on the other side. I apologize. If he's making, over there. I'm sorry, making sure you can hear... Oh, okay. We want to make sure we can hear Dave in the gym. He's over at the middle school gym. Okay. Mike, I'm up at the computer now. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm standing near the laptop. I just got to... Can you keep talking? I'm going to turn this um, speaker off. Okay. Okay, we have a motion and a second to appoint Bill Duggan for the three-year term to the Regional Refuse Disposal District and John Carter for the one-year term. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? One. Four, four zero. Four, sorry. Four one. Um, the motion passes. Uh, the reappointment of Mark Townsend uh, to be a select board representative to the Plymouth County Advisory Board. I'll make that a motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? Mark, you want to do this? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Just checking. No further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, a discussion and possible vote to authorize the town administrator and select board member Bob Belbin to negotiate terms and conditions of Mar the town of Marion's withdrawal from the Carver Marion Wareham Regional Refuse Disposal District. Bob, you and Rick want to so, talk about um, this briefly? This, the town of Marion already took one vote um, to get out of the district, and part of that vote was to negotiate the conditions of their uh, removal from the district. Uh, that has not happened up until now, and um, it should have happened. Uh, instead, the focus was more on closing the whole district. Uh, the problem is, if it goes to town meeting and either one of the towns says no, then we're stuck with a short period of time to negotiate with Marion. Um, it is my opinion that we should go ahead and um, have Rick on as a, a second party to this with the district as a representative for the town, looking out for the best interests of the town, uh, along with the three other members will be part of this also, but spearheading it hopefully will be uh, Rick and I to go ahead with the other Board of Selectmen from the other towns and um, their town administrators too. Um, and that's really it. Okay, do we have a motion? Well, Madam Chair, just um, I just wonder, it, it, I'm fine with Mr. Belbin and Mr. Uh, LaFond acting on behalf of the town, but I think the other, the other two members of the board of the district should be involved as well. And um, I guess that's my, my concern. I think all three members of the, the waste district should, should be involved in the negotiation. Okay, well, um, Mr. Townsend, that particular discussion is not on the agenda. So oh. I mean, we, we, could, we can have that on there at a, at a future yeah. moment. Yes. So... Um, with the district, we have nine members, so when we start talking about a quorum of members uh, for those discussions, some of this stuff that will be negotiated will have to go to an executive session if we have a quorum of members. Having a smaller group to go ahead, and because that's really what will end up happening, is a smaller group will be shared to go ahead and start to negotiate this with Marion and bring it back to the board and the board can thus talk about it and make decisions and changes or whatnot. But to go ahead and have a, a small negotiating committee with the town of Marion and the town of Wareham would probably be the best option for this. Um, and from there we move on. That, that was my opinion. So Bob, when you say the board, not through you, Madam Chair, when you say the board, do you mean the, the Cower Marion district or do you mean the board of select? The select? No, the, um, the district. Okay, so you'll, you'll be bringing everything you, you, you and Mr. LaFon discuss, you'll be bringing back to the, the other two members for a, for a vote. And then to the board, okay. yes. Okay, thank you. Because it, it's a separate entity, it's not um, a town entity, it's a separate entity from the town of Carver. But because we're talking about uh, money and finances and having some expertise on our side is a, a good thing, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to get caught up to speed on this on this whole CMWRRDD. So, Bob, you and, and Mr. Lafon, were you chosen by the the Carver representative of three? 
Yeah, uh, Mr. Belvin was chosen by the Board of Selectmen to work with the then current town administrator. Uh, so he, 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 we, I'm not sure if that was actually voted, but there was a consensus on this board before this election. Oh, okay. So okay, and I apologize. I'm just trying to get. No, that's okay. No, don't worry. Um, so that that vote was to work with Wareham to uh, look at alternatives for trash hauling, or I should say the transfer station, not trash hauling, but the transfer station, and um, to either go for a um, continue with the district or go to a municipal agreement. That was the original agreement for that vote with the Board of Selectmen. Correct. Um, this is a, a little bit different than what that vote was. It was, this is more to make sure that the town is protected when we start negotiating with uh, Marion for this uh, district. And just for, for my own personal knowledge, Carver, we could still opt to a lot of this agreement or, or this district, is that correct? Yes, you have to take two votes at town meeting to withdraw from the district. Uh, the first vote would be a vote to authorize the town representatives to negotiate out of the district. And once you get that negotiations all down pat and you bring it back to town meeting a second time, the town meeting will vote on those uh, that agreement to get out of the district. So it does take two different votes to remove yourself from a district. Marion has taken one vote, one vote only, to negotiate out of the district, yet they, the district has not acted upon that as of yet, and um, on the agenda for our next meeting, which is Wednesday, that is on the agenda uh, that I placed on. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Madam Chair, through you, Mr. Belvin, just so I'm, I'm clear, so any, any terms that yourself and Mr. LaFon negotiate, you'll be bringing back to the Carver Marion, our other representatives to the district for a vote? It'll, it'll, everything will be voted on by the district, no matter what. Uh, it has to. Um, the Board of Selectmen here has no authorization for anything dealing with the district. Um, unfortunately, we need to have that protection, I think, as a uh, town to make sure our interests, in case uh, we do vote to get out of the district, that we get the most we can get out of the district. I, I just want to make sure that Mr. Cotter and Mr. Duggan are involved as well. They, they will be involved, I Mr. Townsend. Mr. LaFon? No, I, th I think everybody's saying the same thing here, but um, to your particular point, Mark, uh, that any uh, conversations uh, that we have with, uh, with Marion officials uh, would be shared with the other appointed representatives of this board to the, to the district. You're on the same page here, Bob? <laughs> Too many boards involved. Yeah, my only fear is that we don't break that threshold for an open meeting law complaint to turn around and find out that we've discussed things between five members and someone files an open meeting law complaint. Because if we talk to Marion, one official, and we talk to Wareham, one official, and Kava, one official, and we talk to two other members, or they talk to two other members, or Wareham talks to two other members, then we have an open meeting law complaint because we've just created a quorum of an open meeting law. So my thought process, having a smaller group going to the district saying, hey, this is what we're looking at to negotiate out, that we have that availability. So um, I entertain a motion to uh, authorize the town administrator and select board member Bob Belvin to negotiate terms and conditions of Marion's withdrawal from the Regional Refuse Disposal District. I will make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second for discussion. Okay. Any, any further discussion? Um, I just want to know if any of the other members have any uh, issues with this, and if they do, please let me know. Thank you, Mr. Belvin. Um, there's been a motion and a second. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So the motion passes four to one. Next item is discussion and possible vote to authorize the town administrator and select board member Bob Belbin to research solid waste and recycling options for Carver 
including options in partnership with the town of Wareham. So is there a motion and a second for discussion? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it for discussion. Mr. Belbin? Oh, you want to go first? Go ahead. Sure. Mr. LaFond. This is rather uh, uh, just an, an authorization from the board to act on your behalf and doing some homework that would come back to this board, not, not the district per se. Um, I know there are, Wareham has some particular thoughts uh, in terms of uh, cost savings uh, for both towns, both Wareham and Carver, and perhaps together, um, even to the extent that they're discussing maybe a joint um, RFP uh, to interact with various vendors for different options. Basically, it's a matter of, we know that the district is coming to an end. Uh, the towns deal with the district. There's probably going to be some sticker shock in terms of what it's going to cost residents. So what options might exist uh, that may be more cost effective? It may turn out that, you know, that status quo is what, is what remains. And that if we can find some way to maintain the, uh, the transfer station, it may very well be that people the town just wishes to continue to have their own private haulers. But just to get some cost information, some uh, legitimate cost information, I think it would be helpful to make any decision. So this is primarily for informational purposes? Research. 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 Okay. Mr. Belbin, do you have anything further? Yes. Um, this is also building a relationship with the town of Wareham. Uh, in my opinion. Um, they brought this up to us at uh, a meeting that we had. Um, they have been looking at trash haulers and they offered uh, three different trash hauls to come in. Republic Waste Management and ABC. Uh, they wanted to hear information. They invited uh, Rick and I to be part of those meetings um, to listen to what they have to say and uh, to gain some information and it was knowledgeable. Um, the information that came back uh, it opened my eyes up to certain things, and um, it, it's something that I know is a huge divide in the town for this, but uh, there's a lot of people, i.e. over 900 to 1,000 people that use the transfer station that we know of uh, on a weekly basis, and then know that these people, and we have uh, 1,700 people who bought stickers last year at $50 a pop, that there's that potential of those people having have to pay four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a year for trash hauling services and they may not have those funds available to them. So looking at different options is something that I think the town needs to do uh, to do our research to know where we're at. Um, it doesn't go ahead and say that we have to go along with what's going on but just getting that information out and bringing it back to the board. Uh, that's all this is. Thank you. There's been a motion and a second. Further discussion? Mr. Hoffman. Well, um, what you're asking for here, was this the same thing that was voted down last year at the town meeting? Yes, it is. Um, the bottom line here was asked at town meeting, in my opinion. I don't think town meeting members knew what was going on at the district as a whole. And... Um, to know that the transfer station, because when I go there at the transfer station, I talk to people, and some people still don't know that it's up to close at the end of this year, and it's going to be a huge sticker shock to them to find out how much it's going to be for them to go ahead. And one of the other things that was interesting was that two of the haulers said it would take nine months to get the equipment to service us the both towns. Uh, one said six months. Um, which I have, have concerns about that. Uh, I thought the other two said nine months and this says six months. I don't know about that. But no matter what, it's the fact that um, it, it's a time thing. It's time sensitive. I wish we were doing this two or three years ago or even further, but we weren't. And yeah, town meeting voted that we don't research trash hauling for the town. This was brought up as a, a mutual thing between Wareham and Carver and they invited us. So. I brought it back here to the board, and that's where it's at now. It's with the board's hand to find out if we want to go forward and, and do this. And there will be a small cost. I don't know what the cost is to do an RFP, and an RFP is a request for a proposal. 
for these ones that we put out to anybody that wants to bid on it. And um, we're not bound by anything that comes forward with this. And the other two members are in agreement with you that we should do this? I haven't asked them because this is something that it was brought to the Board of Selectmen. Um, the other two members have already voted to close the station down. I mean, they've already put their two cents worth into it, and I don't think that they came to town meeting and asked town meeting, hey, you want us to close this down or not? No one said that. They didn't, they didn't go to a town meeting. All right, I'm bringing everything back to the board. All right. Thank you. Madam Chair? Yes, Mr. Townsend. Um, I just, I think personally that Mr. Robertson, um, who was our representative to the district prior to Mr. Belvin did a pretty good job at last year's town meeting of, of laying out what was going on with the district. And the question was put before town meeting as to whether we wanted to go forward looking into a single hauler and town meeting voted pretty solidly against it. So a, a year later, I don't, I, I don't think this was a great idea. Okay, if, if I may interject, this is not, <clears throat> this um, motion that has been seconded is not a motion to go with a single private hauler, correct? This is a motion to research um, various options, including one to go into partnership with the town of Wareham to keep the, um, the transfer station actually open. Is that, is that accurate? Yes. Okay. okay. So I, this, I, this is not... Perhaps I misunderstood Mr. Belvin's answer to Mr. Hoffman. I thought he, he, he mentioned that it was the same thing we voted on well, last year. I think if I, if I may disagree slightly, I think this is a little bit different um, because it's talking about the option of going into a joint agreement with the town of Wareham that would actually keep the transfer station open. So it, it's trying to include more options. If I'm incorrect, please tell me. No, because I, I agree. There are d more options than just simply a single a hauler. It could very well be that uh, there's a preferred hauler system and I realize that can be difficult for some people. That's too. what was voted down last Was that what it was, was specifically? Uh, but whether it's a preferred hauler, whether it's curbside, whether it's uh, you know not doing anything, I think to try to get some sense of what the cost implications are to all of those options, and there may be more. I know with regard to even a preferred hauler there's a, or any type of curbside system, there's menu options. You might have a hauler who's willing to run the, run the transfer station as part of a contract. There's just so many variables. It's the request here is just simply to um, authorize us to go ahead on your behalf and do some of that that homework. Uh, now I understand that I'm not ha having been here that there was a vote of town meeting last year. So certainly, if if that's your uh, thought process, that's fine. Um, I think there's just concern what happens after the end of the year if there isn't some sort of plan in place or at least some options to put before the people. I think the ability or the economics of keeping the transfer station open I think is speculative at best. Um, however, I think the idea that uh, to try to give that a year or two and see if it works makes some sense. So whatever, whatever the will of the board is, um, and to be quite honest with you, Mark, I don't, want to, I don't want to be doing a whole lot of work if the board isn't prepared for, isn't ready for that yet either. Oh. But again, this is different from what town meeting. We were voting on a preferred hauler last year, and this is much more expansive and inclusive. Well, so I guess, again, my, my thoughts. I, uh, I'm going to vote in favor of this because I want the town to have as many options as they can possibly have. But I, I also think that the town spoke pretty solidly last year that they didn't want a preferred hauler, and they liked the many different options they have with the small haulers in town. So I hope when you research options, you, that won't be your primary search. You'll go in other directions. And I also, th one of the concerns too, Mark, and I, again, I completely appreciate that, is that, um, and I'm not sure, I know there's one particular hauler who's not taking any more contracts in the town, and there's some speculation among some members, uh, some people wear him too, that there may be some of these companies that are going to be bought up by some of the, the larger companies. Uh, we don't know if that's going to happen, but the dynamic is, is changing a bit. So, so I think just to, for us to be a little bit more on top of that. Um, but as I said, I think to the extent that uh, there is some work involved, some work with Wareham, um, if the board isn't quite uh, ready for that, that, that that's okay. Not a, but I think 
that's worth at least bringing to your attention and seeing how you want to go with this. Okay, there's been a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Next item is the uh, to rescind the vote of Bernadette Hemingway as a community representative to the South Shore Community Action Council. The reason we're doing this tonight um, is because it's we did a little homework and it's not our it's not our place as a select board to appoint someone as a community representative to the South Shore Community Action Council. Um, the council itself does that. We only appoint the, appoint the select board representative, which is me, happens to be me right now. Um, so I am entertaining a motion. Motion to rescind. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed unanimously. Okay, uh, discussion, um, no vote to be taken regarding the possible release of executive session minutes of 211-20, 224-20, and 3-3-20 at a future meeting of the select board. Mr. Levine, we can keep it brief. In your, in your packets are the executive session um, minutes, um, as well as an email from our town council. Right. That's uh, quite frankly, this is an issue that predates me, but I know that has been a uh, concern for some of the board members, all the board members, as to um, whether minutes should be released or not, what kind of confidentiality, confidentiality issues uh, may arise. And after a preliminary, preliminary opinion by council, uh, there was a subsequent uh, uh, opinion from town council in conjunction with other members of the firm uh, stating that releasing these minutes would not be a violation of law. So again, this is just to let you know that it's my intention at any rate to put this um, subject on the agenda for the July 7th meeting. So those of you who haven't had a chance to read those minutes will now be able to. Okay. Um, there's a request to use Shirtliff Park. The Carver Red... Sarah, I'm sorry. Yes, so this is a discussion for this about, I mean, can we also put on for the uh, other executive session meetings that we actually discussed about the um, minutes themselves, those executive session meeting minutes that we had in there, because that was also important um, on how the attorney came to those, the uh, point of what he came into here. Sorry, I'm not clear on what you're asking me. Well, the other executive session meetings we had with the lawyer uh, in regards to the, do we release the minutes oh, or oh. not to release the minutes? Mm -hmm. That discussion also, not just those minutes, but the reason why we went and wanted to release the minutes or not release the minutes or, or what was said and done during that meeting too. I think that's important too for the public. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mr. Feldman. Um, yes, so a request to use Shirtliff Park, the Carver Red Hot Mamas. On July 9th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So make a motion we approve. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Passes unanimously. Request to use Shirtlift Park, Captain Powell Preschool on 7 15 20. So moved. 10 a.m. to 11 30 a.m. <laughs> second. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Select board meeting. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned until 7 o'clock. Thank you all.